What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Converted Sorted Array to Binary Search Tree. So you're given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order and you have to convert it to a height balanced binary search tree. So a uh, height balanced binary search tree is where the subtrees never differ by more than one. So guys, um, I know I haven't been uploading a video lately for a lot, uh, but I'm going to get back to it. I'm getting back into the grind of uploading daily videos so now every day I'm gonna upload at least at least one video every day but yeah yeah I'm not gonna upload like at least 10 I like 10 in one day but I'm gonna upload one at least one lead code challenge every day so uh, back to this question converting a sorted array to binary search tree um, so how do we convert a sorted array to binary search tree well one way to do this is to uh, every time you we, we would take the middle of our list. So we go through our, we have a list of values, negative 10, negative 3, 0, 5, 9. One way you could do this is to take the middle value of your list and have that be the root. Okay, so in this case, um, negative 10, negative 3, 0, 5, 9. This is now, we're going to have the root as 0. Okay, and that would be our root. And then our left, the left and right would be the left and right would be the next middle of the left, the left side. So the left and right uh, subparents would be actually the middle values of the left, the left array, which is whatever on the left side of this side, and the right array, which is whatever the side on this side. So I'm not going to create their tree like this, but I'm going to create the, a tree some, some, somewhat similar, but it's not going to be it because they say they just want a following balanced binary search tree. So what I'm going to do is here you have negative 10, negative 3, 0, 5, 9, right? So here, uh, let's see, negative 10, negative 3, 0, 5, 9. So if you want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle value. So this is going to be my middle, 0, and I'm going to make this the root of my tree my new tree. Uh, that's supposed to be a node. Okay, well, let me re redraw that. So this is going to be my new tree. Value 0. And then I'm going to have a sub sub values on the left and right. And the left tree, the left left root is going to actually be the middle of whatever is on the left side, the rest of the list on this side. So my root of the left side is going to be the middle value of whatever is the list on this side. And then my right side will be the middle value of whatever list on the right side. So in this case, the middle value, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, uh, 0 plus 1 is going to be, 0 plus 1 is going to be, um, wait, let's see, do, 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 middle minus 1. So, zero, yeah, okay, so 0 plus 1. Is going to be 1 divided by 2 would be 1, so that this negative 3 would be my root of my lower value. Yeah, yeah, that's what it would be. And then the same thing would be on the right side, 5 and then 9. So 0, so this is the, and the index starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? I'll show you the indexes. I'm going to choose the, m the middle value of my right, my right side, which in this case is uh, five, five, nine, whatever on the right side. So if I want a middle value, I'm going to take the indexes and add them up and divide by two. So three plus four is seven divided by two. Uh, what's seven over two? Let's see. Let's quickly do the math. Three. Yeah, it would be three because we round downward. And what's three's index? Zero, one, two, three. Three. The index of three is five. So that'll be my next tree, my next root. And then. Uh, on the left side, I'll do the same thing again, and I'll pick the next value, which would be the root of that value, and you'll get negative 10 here. If you keep going and do like that, you get negative 10, and then you'll get 9. Basically, you would get 9. And then you would have like null values on these side. But yeah, that's how I would do this. So you, I would just pick the middle value, the left side, and then whatever value, middle value on the right side to be my root because that would that would make more sense. Okay, so how do we code this? We're going to create a method called construct that takes in 
we have a method called construct. This is going to take in the the start value and then the end value, which is going to be our the starting and end for our constructing our tree that we're making. Okay. Then what we're going to do is this start and end uh, this construct method would actually return a tree node, and that's going to be the tree node of <clears throat> that we're going to return. Uh, we also have to pass in the whoops uh, my fault do, do, do. my insert was on okay we have to pass in the numbers that we're passing in because we need to construct it so what we what are we gonna do well if start is greater than end we're just gonna return null because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a we're gonna recursively call this method on the left side of middle and the right side of middle and we're gonna get the middle middle index every time so um, start is greater than end we're gonna return null uh, otherwise we're gonna get the middle index so I'm gonna do middle middle index is gonna start plus end and then I'm gonna divide by 2 okay so now what I'm gonna do is I need to create a new node that has the value at nums at start so I'm gonna create a new node, a tree node, uh, new node, and it's gonna have the value of nums at middle index. Okay. Then I'm gonna do new nodes left child is going to its left child is gonna to equal to I'm gonna recursively call this method on the left side. We're gonna be point at whatever's the new node that's returned on the left side, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. And I'm going to return new node. Okay, so now what is going to be on the left side? Left side is going to still be nums, except now we're going to our starting values and ending values are going to be different. So our starting value is going to be 0 to middle minus 1. because that's going to be the left side of our tree uh, my bad so that's going to be remember the middle is zero now we're going to create recursively call on the left side and that that left side is going to be whatever our middle value our middle index right the middle index subtract one and that'll be this n n value of this so this is going to be yeah my bad middle index and then this is going to be middle index plus one to do, 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 do. and this has to be the size of the list yeah okay it would have to be the size of the list okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just going to return construct and pass in the nums. Start will be zero and would be nums.size. Okay, submit the code. Compile error, what is the problem? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Base pointer has non pointer type tree node. Oh, okay. I actually have to create a new tree node with this. Okay, um, do, 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 do. so what I'm going to do is I have to use a new keyword equals new tree node. It's going to be a pointer to a node, and then I'll, I'll, I'll fix that because then I'll get left side. Well, actually, better if I just use the dot operator. It makes more sense. But I think this is fine anyway. Runtime error. What is the problem? Stack overflow. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see what the issue. Okay, so uh, I actually meant to do size minus one because that's actually the ending of what you're gonna do. Um, this is, should just be end because here we're we're constructing our array using size minus one because uh, construct is gonna the end value is gonna be the 
length of the vector subtract by one, right? Because it can't be the size of the, the vector, right? Here. Here, um, the ending is it's not always going to be the length of the array. Our ending is actually going to be recursively called. So in this case, this ending is actually going to be here and then the middle value from 0 to middle minus 1, right? Here it's actually going to be 0 to um, middle plus 1 put to the end, right? And end, end could be whatever. End could be changing. So that's why it's not, it's not always going to be num size minus 1. All right, we'll, we'll uh, submit that and then see what occurs. Wrong answer. Okay, let's see what's the issue. Do, 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 do. Wrong answer. Negative three. No. Okay, so we're getting a lot of nulls. We're getting a lot of nulls. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, so the problem that we had before is that it's not always going to be zero to middle index minus one. It's actually going to change based on start because start could it's, you're you're partitioning you're recursively calling on the left side and the right side and that could change based on whatever value that's starting so that's why this this value should be start and this value should be end yeah okay I'll submit it and then this should be working yeah okay and that got accepted so that's how you do you would convert a sorted array to a binary search tree let's see other people's recursive uh, solution let's see this guy's Let's see how they do it. Okay, so that's basically what we did. Uh, instead, they return zero. That's that's funny. Uh, yeah. Okay. That that doesn't. Um. What this? Okay. So yeah, that's basically what we did. Um. They checked if the size is equal to zero, then they do no. Okay. Uh, let's see. There has to be another one. Oh, this one's faster than ninety-four percent. Let's see what he did. Oh wow. Okay. So he actually did a. Okay. Okay. So what he did was he created. If start is equal to end. Start plus end plus one over two. Okay, he created, the, he created the same list. If it's null, he re sets root as n, and then he adds the tree. Okay, so he does the same thing. Start, index minus 1, start plus 1, end. Okay, so th that's literally the same thing as what we did. Uh, what is... I think this is like re... This code is just like re-changing the, the tree to make sure it's balanced. That's what this code is doing. But yeah, uh, that's how you would do this solution. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later on the next video. Peace.